You know, it's barely been about two months since the release of One UI version 3 and now One UI version 3.1 is rolling out for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and in this video, I'm going to show you everything that is new with this update. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you want this wallpaper, the link is in the video description. I will start this video off by showing you guys my personal favorite feature of One UI 3.1. So let's go to the gallery because they have added a new feature which allows you to erase unwanted objects from an image. So for this, open up an image, then tap on the pencil icon to go into the image editor, then tap on these three dots, go to labs and enable object eraser. And now go back to the image editor and you will see a new eraser icon over here. Tap on the eraser icon and just tap on the objects that you want to erase. I want to erase this little thing because this is right in front of my photo. So I will just select, tap on erase and that will erase the selected object. So yeah, picture looks much better. Now we will save this. So this is how the object eraser tool works. Very similar to something that you have on Photoshop. You can also use the object eraser to erase people from photographs. So for example, I've got three people standing over here. Let's open up the image editor and tap on the eraser icon. And I will just tap on the people to select them and erase. And bam, they're gone. Now, if you zoom in, you will notice some strange imperfections. Those are bound to be there, guys. This is not full-fledged Photoshop. But yeah, it does erase people from photographs. And now you can save this. Man, this is a really, really nice tool. I like it. Guys, if you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content and hit the bell icon and select all to get notifications for my latest uploads. And also do follow me on my social media accounts. All the links are in the video description. Alright, let's continue. If you click photos with the location tags option enabled, this one, the photo is going to carry your location data even when you share it with your friends. Now, there is a new option in the gallery which allows you to remove the location data before sharing your photo. So this is a photo that I clicked with the location tags enabled. And if I swipe up, you can see the location where the photo was shot. Obviously, I have blurred it out because I don't want to show that on YouTube. Now, take a look at this. When I press the share icon, the phone now gives me an option to remove the location data before sharing the photo. Now, if I share this photo without removing the location data, you will see that I will be able to see the location of the photo where it was clicked on the recipient phone. So this is the photo. And if I swipe up, it has the location data on it. Now, if I share the same photo again, but with this option enabled, remove location data, you will see that I will not be able to see the location on the recipient phone. So check this out. Now this photo no longer has the location data embedded on it because we removed it before sharing the photo. So yeah, awesome privacy tool. I love it. Guys, the blue light filter has also been renamed to Eye Comfort Shield. So we will go to settings, go to display, and you will see Eye Comfort Shield over here. So this feature will keep your eyes comfortable by limiting the blue light emissions from the screen. You have two options, adaptive and custom. So this is almost exactly the same as your blue light filter on One UI 2.5. They have just added the adaptive option, which kind of adjusts the screen colors based on the time of the day. So if I turn this on, you will see warmer colors at night and normal colors during daytime. So having warmer colors on your phone at night helps you sleep better. Now, I have been reading comments and a lot of you guys didn't really like this film strip view at the bottom of the gallery. So starting with the One UI 3 update, the gallery started showing these little thumbnails at the bottom. And a lot of people didn't like that because it kind of spoils their privacy. So on One UI 3.1, they have added an option that lets you disable this film strip view. Let me show you how it works. So first, you need to open up the gallery, press on these three lines and go to settings. Now scroll down to about gallery, then tap on the version until you see that message gallery labs enabled. Now go back and scroll down. You will see a secret menu called gallery labs. Open this up and disable film strip in viewer. So that's it. Now go to recents and close all the applications. So the next time you open up the gallery, you will not see that annoying film strip at the bottom. And this is a feature of One UI 3.1. On One UI 3, you don't have the option to disable the film strip in the viewer. So yeah, it's good that they have added this feature. 
I guess a lot of people were unhappy with the film strip view in the gallery. They've also changed a couple of things in the camera so let's open up camera and first thing I'll do is go to single take mode and you will see a new icon over here. So tap this and it will open this menu. So this lets you choose the types of shots single take mode will capture. You can enable or disable certain items if you don't want single take mode to capture them. So if you haven't used single take mode I suggest that you try it out because it's an awesome feature. It automatically spits out filtered photos, portraits, wide photos, crop photos, highlighted videos, filtered videos and all that. And this update allows you to choose what to capture. And the second update in the camera is that if you go to pro video mode, oops, let me adjust this. Oh yeah, much better. Now you can see the icons. So if you scroll over here and if you tap on the microphone icon, you now have the option to use the Bluetooth headset microphone and the phone's microphone together to capture sound. So if you select this option, Bluetooth and phone record sound through both your phone and Bluetooth mic. So now the phone will capture sound through its internal microphone as well as the microphone that is on my Bluetooth headset. So right now I have this headset connected to the phone. So that is also a new feature that One UI 3 brings to the camera on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Another small but very important change in the camera is that they have moved the resolution and the frame rate selection from the camera settings directly into the viewfinder. So you have the resolution and the frame rate setting right over here in the viewfinder. The text at the top UHD that's your resolution and the highlighted text shows you the frame rate. On the older One UI 3 you need to go to settings to change your video resolution and the frame rate. And the AR Doodle option on the new version has been moved to the more section. So here is AR Doodle. So small changes here and there but I think these are worth mentioning because anyone can get confused. And lastly, they have also renamed Live Focus and Live Focus Video to Portrait and Portrait Video. These two are the exact same features. They have just renamed this to Portrait and Portrait Video. So a lot of people were unhappy with the way icons were arranged in the folders starting with One UI 3. The problem is One UI 3 can only stack up three icons horizontally and four icons vertically. This has changed on One UI 3.1. They have added a new feature so pinch in on the home screen and go to settings and you will see a new option folder grid. 3x4 is the default but if you select 4x4 this gives you the ability to add 4 icons horizontally and 4 icons vertically. So let's go to advanced features and let me show you something. So settings scroll down to advanced features and you will see a new option over here which says continue apps on other devices. So this is a new feature of One UI 3.1. So pick up where you left off from on other device. You can also copy text, images and more on this phone and paste them onto your other device. So the concept behind this is that if you are creating a note in the Samsung Notes app or if you are browsing the internet, you can grab your other Samsung device. You can continue working on the same note that you left off on your other phone. In addition to that, the clipboard will also be shared between these two phones. Unfortunately, right now I cannot demonstrate this to you because this phone is not running One UI 3.1. So a requirement of this is that both device needs to have this feature. One UI 3 doesn't have this feature, so we will have to wait until the One UI 3 update arrives on the Note 10 Plus and then I will demonstrate this feature to you. But yeah, sounds interesting and I am looking forward to trying out this feature. Now inside the same advanced features menu, if you scroll down, I have noticed something different. They have renamed the video enhancer to video brightness. So on One UI 3 and previous versions, you had this feature called video enhancer. This has been renamed to video brightness. It does the exact same thing. They have just renamed this to video brightness. So what this feature does is that it increases the screen brightness to make the colors more vibrant whenever you launch a media application. And I can demonstrate this. So with the feature enabled, if I launch YouTube, the brightness goes up. And if I disable this and make it normal, now the feature is off, the brightness will not change. So I think I'm going to leave this as normal because I like the brightness to be constant. And it is the exact same thing as the video enhancer. If I launch YouTube with video enhancer enabled, the brightness goes up. And if I switch this off, and now if I launch YouTube, the brightness remains constant. So yeah, it's like an old wine in a new bottle.
Another new feature which has been carried over from the Galaxy S21 is Private Share. So if you open up the app drawer, you'll see a new icon here called Private Share. So this feature lets you share files privately. You can also prevent the recipients from resharing and you can also set an expiry date. Keeps your data safe with blockchain technology. Now the catch is that this feature doesn't work. So if I tap on agree, I get this error message, couldn't get number from the SIM card. And yes, I have tried multiple SIM cards, nothing seems to work. So unfortunately, this feature does not work, so I cannot demonstrate this to you. And lastly, Samsung Daily has been replaced by Samsung Free. So on One UI 3, if you scroll to the left, you have something called Samsung Daily. This kind of shows you the latest news and entertainment. I haven't activated this on mine because I don't really care about it. But on the newer version, they have replaced this with something called Samsung Free. So if you pinch in and enable this, you now have Samsung Free. So let's go to this. So this will give you your daily newsfeed and you can customize what you see by going into settings and then going into edit categories. I've already done this, but to be very honest, I'd rather use Google services because those are customized to my liking. So Google Discover already provides me with a much, much better feed. And finally, coming to the features that haven't made it to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra but are there on the new flagship, the S21. Well, the biggest one is the Director's View. Director's View is actually a feature of the new Galaxy S21 and it kind of allows you to use the front and the rear camera together. So there is this feature called Vlogger Mode and it allows you to use the rear camera as well as the front facing camera to record videos. Man, I was really looking forward to this feature but unfortunately they haven't added this on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I guess Samsung wants you to buy the new S21 series if you want that new feature. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. There are a couple of extra features, but I think I have covered all the major ones. And I wanna keep this video below 15 minutes, so we will end the video over here. And the next one to get this update is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And whenever the update arrives, I'll make a video. And I'm still disappointed at the fact that Samsung didn't include director's view. I was really, really looking forward to the vloggers mode on this phone. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos like these, and I will see you guys next time.